Excitement is brewing over the new image generator, Dolly 3. The images posted by OpenAI look quite impressive. And it got us wondering, do any of the current most popular generative AIs with the ability to create images stand a chance against the monster that is Dolly 3? To find out, we put one of the newest free image generation GUIs running Stable Diffusion XL to the test and pit it against Dolly 3. We'll be using Stable Diffusion XL within the GUI Focus MRE. And for this test, we'll be using the Crystal Clear XL checkpoint model. I don't know how cherry picked these Dolly 3 images are. I'm guessing they probably are, as I'm sure they want to put their best foot forward when presenting this new generative AI. So full disclosure, with this test, we generated four images for each prompt and picked the best one out of the four. Here we go. Bright and vivid colors, this image has some nice details that really pop, and you can even see a ship way off in the distance in the water. I like how colorful they both are. I think they look really good. But I do believe the Dolly 3 one looks more like a vintage travel poster. So I'm going to have to give this round to Dolly 3. Yeah, that's a not just banana shaped, that's a straight up banana. But it's not a bad image, it definitely took banana shaped, quite literally. Stable Diffusion XL didn't do a bad job with it. I'd say it's more banana-esque. It got most of the way there, but I think Dolly 3 followed the prompt closer. Second round also goes to Dolly 3. Da, that's so cute. She appears to be missing a finger though. They both turned out pretty cute, and both appear to have followed the prompt fairly well. So I think we'll call this round a tie. That is quite neat. The above angle and the shallow depth of field really sells this as a miniature. Aeon SDXL did not understand the assignment. Looks like a cozy little coffee bar. I wouldn't mind hanging out there. But it doesn't follow the prompt. So another win for Dolly 3. SDXL better pick up the slack or it's gonna get steamrolled. It's gonna get creamed. Oh, that sounds good. Steamed rolls and cream. Can we see that next? No? Bummer. Well, that's a little disturbing. Looks like they didn't get the dance and movement, but it followed the prompt fairly well otherwise. Neat image, but doesn't really follow the prompt as well as Dolly 3. I'm sensing a pattern here. Another round goes to Dolly 3. Oh my goodness. What a cute illustration. It looks like Dolly 3 nailed it. The little hearts too, that's just too cute. This one's not bad, but her eyes are open and she's not taking a bite, so prompt not followed. Again, SDXL you've got a lot of ground to make up for. That's neat. It doesn't really depict the tiger standing, but other than that it looks like the prompt was followed quite well. That's such a complex prompt too, so to have it follow the prompt that closely is impressive. Oh wow, great image. I love the vibrant colors. A very cool image but it definitely doesn't follow the prompt as well. I don't see any sitting on thrones and it doesn't look like the castles are made of potatoes. Still, it's pretty darn cute. Strange fellows. I can't decide if I think they're cute or disturbing. Can they be both? I think they're both. No thrones here either. And no potato castles. Neither Dolly 3 nor Stable Diffusion XL seem to follow the prompt that well in this case so I'm going to call it a tie. They both look like vintage travel posters. Dolly 3 appears to only have gotten two of the specified text words correct, Venus and Explore, but the rest of the text is pretty much nonsensical and unreadable. Stable Diffusion XL got the word Venus correct, but none of the other text words. The specified color scheme of golds, yellows, and oranges appears not to be followed that well by Dolly 3, while Stable Diffusion XL appears to have followed the specified colors a little bit closer. All things considered, I think I'll call this one a tie. The heart doesn't look like it's made of translucent glass, and I'm not sure why it appears to either be using milk or have icicles hanging from it, but that doesn't seem to fit the overall feel of the image. The rest of it looks pretty close to the prompt though. Oh, that's not bad. It followed the prompt pretty well. However, it didn't do any of the text, so I'll have to call this one for Dolly 3. I like that you can see the light through the liquid a little bit at the top and it's a bit brown like you'd expect coffee to be. I don't see any lightning bolts in the mug though. 
Oh, neat. I see a lightning bolt in the mug, but those look more like splashes than waves. They both turned out pretty cool, but neither seemed to follow the prompt 100%. The Dolly 3 one got the turbulent waves, but the Stable Diffusion XL one got the lightning in the mug. Both followed the prompt otherwise. I'm going to call this one a tie. It's not exactly a Mobius strip, but it's impressive all the same. It looks like Stable Diffusion XL just gave up on following the prompt. It's a cool image, visually appealing, but it didn't follow the prompt very well. So this one goes to Dolly 3. Oh my! I think Stable Diffusion XL did a fairly good job with this one. I think it got about 50% of the way there. Not bad but Dolly 3 nailed it 100%, so Dolly 3 wins this round. Oh that looks pretty good. I'm not sure why the sand is aqua colored though. And the Stable Diffusion one does appear to have some slight anatomy issues. This one is pretty close but given the strange blue-green sand color and the slight issues in the way his limbs were generated, I'm going to have to give this one to Dolly 3. Not bad. The colors and composition add a bit of visual excitement, and it has an amazing amount of detail in the rooms. Look at the furniture. I do have to wonder though if these were generated at a much larger size and then sized down to post on their website. I do think the Stable Diffusion XL one looks a bit more photorealistic. They both seem to follow the prompt. I think Stable Diffusion XL nailed this one. It got a little overexcited with the pumpkin motif, but I think it came out pretty well. To me the SDXL chair looks a bit more pumpkin-like. The chair almost looks like it's smiling too. It's like it knew. It knew it had this one in the bag. I'm going to give this one to SDXL. The Stable Diffusion XL one does not follow the prompt all that well. It's specified wood, but to me that looks mostly metal. It also said fish and cannons, but I see neither. Another round goes to Dolly 3. Wow! I don't think the prompt called for monster faces. Both of these are really cool. I have to say though, aesthetically speaking, I do prefer the Stable Diffusion XL image, but I know that comes down to personal taste preference. It's beautiful, but it completely ignores the part about the captain's face. He's way a over there in the distance and I suppose he could have some determination in his eyes, but he's just too far away for us to see. So while I like this painting a lot, this round also goes to Dolly 3 as it adheres to the prompt a bit more closely. I kinda like it. It's strange, but it did ask for strange. It does have elements of both a lily and a Venus flytrap. I'm going to have to say this one to me is a tie. We'd love to know your thoughts on Dolly 3. Will you be using it? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI-related content.